Hi everyone, in this video we'll be looking at the discriminant and how it can help us find different types of solutions for a quadratic. First of all, when you solve a quadratic, you can use the quadratic formula, as you already know. And what we're going to look at is the discriminant, and that's the value under the radical. Do not include the radical when you're talking about the discriminant. You may already know that a polynomial of n degree has n roots. So when we're talking about a quadratic equation, since it has a degree of two, we know that it's always gonna have two roots or two solutions. Hmm, but what kind of roots? Well, if we look at the discriminant, we'll be able to determine, we'll be able to discriminate between the possible types of roots. So the first example is when we get a discriminant that's positive. Here's an example. And if we were to factor this, we would see that the solutions are negative four and negative two. And we cross the x-axis at negative four and negative two. So if we just looked at the discriminant, b squared minus four ac, we'd get a value of four, which is positive, and therefore we know that there are two real solutions. Now, when the discriminant is zero, we're gonna get just one solution or both answers end up being the same. Here's an example. In this case, when we factor, we get x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 3. In other words, we bounce the x-axis, so we touch the x-axis in one place, and we look at the discriminant, we get 0. So we get one real solution, or we, we get two answers, but they're both the same. Now the last scenario is the tricky one. That's where we get a discriminant that's negative. And if we wanted to factor this, we, we wouldn't be able to, so we would have to use the quadratic formula. And if you notice, under the radical, our discriminant is negative, which means that we're gonna get two imaginary solutions. So when we simplify, we get negative three plus or minus i. Well notice, we don't cross the x-axis at all. So we have no real solutions. And again, if we just look at the discriminant, the value under the radical, b squared minus 4ac, we're gonna get negative four, which means our discriminant is negative, which tells us that the solution is a pair of imaginary numbers. So just to summarize that, the discriminant is the value under the radical. If it's positive, we have two real solutions. If it's zero, we have one real solution. Both answers are the same. And if it's negative, we have no real solutions, two imaginary solutions. All right, hope this helps. Good luck.